Sigmund Freud claims that all humor is civilized hostility, a socially acceptable substitute for violent emotion. Well, I don't agree. Certainly there are jokes made at other people's expense, but there are also life-affirming jokes, jokes that come from happiness, exuberance, from the sheer joy of being alive. Of course, they're not funny. The uh, comedian making her first appearance on The Tonight Show, her name is Jan Karam. Please welcome Jan Karam, ladies and gentlemen. She's funny. She's awesome. Welcome, Jan Karam. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Jan Karam. Would you welcome Jan Karam? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jan Karam. Please welcome Jan Karam. Jan Karam. Please welcome Jan Karam. Our next guest is a uh, talented uh, comedian making her first appearance uh, with us here tonight. We're happy everybody's in such a nice mood. She's very funny and beginning April 25th, she'll be performing her one-woman show. I wonder how many people are involved in that. I have to say. What do you suppose the cast is on a thing no, like I'm that? not sure about that. She'll be performing her one-woman show at the Tamarin Theater in Los Angeles. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Jan Karam. Jan! <laughs> Good. I um I got spring hair. I um uh, oh, I uh, just broke up with my boyfriend and uh, I've been pretty upset about it. So my therapist said, "Well, I should get a group of people together. It would help uh, lift my spirits, make me feel better." So I would like to thank you all for showing up tonight. Thank you. We were together for uh, five years. That's a long time, huh? Five years. Actually, the whole thing was over about two weeks into it, but it's so hard to end a relationship, you know? <laughs> Just let it go on and on. You're waiting for something to happen. You're thinking, well, maybe he'll die. <laughs> so I, I was, uh, I've been uh, reading this self-help book, you know, because I'm getting my life together. I was going to get my life together last year, but I blew it off. But, uh, <laughs> definitely soon. And uh, one of the things the book said that if you want something, you have to visualize it. Like if you want a big old house or a nice car or a lot of money, whatever it is that you want, you have to visualize it first. Well, that's a bunch of crap, that visualized stuff, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, I don't visualize what I don't want, and I have that. <laughs> right? Ah, oh, so I was, uh... <laughs> I was at a red light, and this guy honked at me because I didn't go the second that the light changed to green. And then on top of honking, he hits his hands on the steering wheel. I look back, he's like, what is that? And then he honks again. That's so rude. You don't know me. You can't be that hostile towards me. You don't love me. <laughs> there were two different kinds of horns, like that loud, horrible one you're only allowed to use when it's an extreme emergency, otherwise you get a ticket or something. And another one that's just like, ahem. <clears throat> you know, like a clearing of the throat kind of a sound. Because <laughs> that's really all you need. <clears throat> it's green. <laughs> Go. I was just pulling a string off my pants. <laughs> and then uh, I got pulled over for making an illegal uh, U-turn. Well, first of all, I didn't know I was doing something wrong. I'm a nice person. I'm not a criminal. I recycle. <laughs> and the cop, that cop puts on a siren for a U-turn. <laughs> That's the same siren they use for murder. 
shouldn't there be a friendlier, less incriminating sound? Hey, you made an illegal you. <laughs> No, I'm not bad. <laughs> so I uh, worked out today. I had a very uh, strenuous workout. I was sweating and everything. I didn't go to a gym or anything. I just tried jeans on all afternoon. <laughs> the girls are up there. <laughs> and I got waited on by one of these uh, overzealous high school sales girls you know, with her hair piled on top of her head. Like that, no matter what I tried on, she said the same thing. That looks really good. You should get it. <laughs> and then, and then she calls over her coworker cohort. Shannon, come here. Did you think that she should get it? <laughs> and then Shannon comes over on the cell phone. Huh? Oh yeah, you should totally get it. <laughs> Then I'm surrounded by this giant conga line of sales girls going, get it, get it! You should get it! My feet fell. Who's the guy? Okay. Oh, I did my own tech. All right. I have... Uh... So, um, yeah. Okay. Wow, you guys are all right for spring audience. Um, oh, yeah, so then I was trying on this bathing suit, and I look in the mirror, and I go, God, I can't buy this bathing suit. I look terrible in this bathing suit. And then Shannon says, well, keep in mind, you know, the fluorescent lighting in here is really unflattering. <laughs> like the sun's going to be dimmer. <laughs> That's what's going on. Thank you very much and stay for the dance.